Hello friends, today we'll have a discussion on primate taxonomy. Hello friends, today we'll have a discussion on primate taxonomy. So, what is taxonomy? Taxonomy is the scientific classification of organisms into some sort of category. Carlinius is considered as a father of taxonomy. So we can say that it is a scientific study of the principles of classification and it involves a formulation of appropriate and useful systems of scientific classifications. So today we will see taxonomy of primate. Now you will see that there are lot many definitions of primate and this one is from Muir. So it is Ungulate, claviculate, placental mammals with orbits encircled by bone, three kinds of teeth primates have, at least one time of life, brains always with a posterior lobe and calcarine features, the innermost digits of at least one pair of extremities opposable, hornets with a flat tail or none, a well developed tissue, penis pendulous, and testis frontal and always two pectoral. Meme. So it's a physical features of primates which has to be there when we are considering any species in the category or in the classification of primate. So these are some of the picture. So you can say ungulate, you can see that we can see claws is there, okay? And clavicle that's mean this this portion, this is this bone is known as cal clavicle. Okay, so this is a front view. Okay, so you always find this on primates. And primates also have their placental mammals. Okay. And this is, you can see a, a location of their posterior lobe. And then they have large intestine. And when we are discussing about primates, it is also important to revise your uh, geological time scales that what were the periods and which type of uh, uh, primates uh, appeared on earth so that's why we can see about geological time scale but right now we are not going to have a discussion on geological time scale so this is our primate taxonomy this is how we classify primates okay so basic level is you can say it's species then group related species genus and family order class, phylum and kingdom. Okay, so this is a basic hierarchy. You can see here, it's animal kingdom. Now animal kingdom is further divided to protozoa, then metazoa, then we have invertebrate and vertebrate. Then we have fish, amphibians, bird, reptile, then we have mammals. Okay. And then mammals are protheria, divided theria. Okay, then we have section order. Then we have suborder, superfamily, family. So today I'm just explaining that how the classification has to be done. And in coming lecture, I'll explain in detail. But this is the major part which we can discuss. So primates are, you can say, divided into, first of all, prosimians. Okay, and they have lemurs, lorsis, torisiers, and then we have aplurari or anthropoids. Now, in anthropoids, further we have laterines and caterines. Okay, so new world monkey, and then we have old world monkey, apes, and humans. So, friends, do not get scared with the difficult pronunciation of these words when you start understanding when you start reading and you will make the names you will remember its classifications okay so this is a major classification which we see on primates okay so ashley montayo has also classified so the classification which i have explained that is the same okay so this is what we can see and then further it, how it has been divided so primate classification, it's important where you will going to draw with diagrams and then you have to 
uh, write the name and certain features of all those family sub family genes so this is a primate taxonomy thank you